This presentation is brought to you by Trent Jenkins and Zach Allison. Helping you to manage your government and get the supplies and support you need so you can get to life. Good morning. I'm Trent Jenkins and I'd like to talk to you for a moment about the government. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about the legislative branch. So listen up in the back or else I'm going to give you an assignment. The legislative branch is a bicameral system, meaning it is made of two bodies. So like my parents, they operate in two separate houses. These houses are known as the Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate is made up of 100 senators, two from each state. The Senate represents their home state and votes on new laws, or as they are known, bills, while the House of Reps is made up of 435 members. A state's number of representatives depends on the state's population. Missouri has eight representatives, while a horrible state like New Jersey has 14. The House of Reps' job is to create and pass laws on the federal level. This is the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., where Congress meets. To become a senator, one must be 30 years of age and a U.S. citizen for nine years. A senator's term lasts for six years. A member of the House of Reps must be 25 years old and be a resident of their state for seven years. A term in the House of Reps is two years. Our current Missouri senators are Claire McCaskill, a married woman with seven children and five grandchildren, and Roy Blunt, who is a history teacher. The Missouri state representatives include Lacey Clay Jr., Ann Wagner, Blaine Lewitkemeyer, Vicki Hartzler, Emmanuel Cleaver II, Sam Graves, Billy Long, and Jason Smith. Lacey Clay Jr. belongs to the 1st District of Missouri, Ann Wagner's to the 2nd, Blaine Lewitkemeyer to the 3rd, Vicki Hartzler for the 4th District, Emmanuel Cleaver II is for the 5th, Sam Graves the 6th, Billy Long is for the 7th, and Jason Smith is for the 8th District. A state's number of representatives is determined when a census is taken. A census is a population count that takes place every 10 years. The legislative branch is given the responsibility of creating and passing new laws. Aside from the ability to control the weather, the legislative branch is given the powers to pass laws, originate spending bills, impeach officials such as the president, and approve treaties. The limits of the legislative branch include their actions being declared constitutional or unconstitutional by the judicial branch. The executive branch can veto laws. They have to vote on decisions and the members of the legislative branch must be elected. The overall governmental powers are divided into three sections that tell who can do what. The national or enumerated powers allow the declaration of war, the negotiation of treaties, issuing of money, establishing of courts, and the establishing of post offices. The reserved or state powers include taxing citizens, conducting elections, making marriage laws, controlling education, and punishing criminals. Concurrent or shared powers include maintaining law and order, levying taxes, borrowing money, taking land for public use, and providing for the public welfare. A bill starts off as an idea for a law. The people who think up the idea for the law send it into their congressmen. The idea then becomes a bill. Congressmen debate on the bill, and assuming that the quorum is met and enough senators agree, then the bill will be sent to the president. The president can either sign the bill to make it a law, or they can veto the bill. If the bill is vetoed, it must return to Congress to become a law. Would I ever want to be part of the legislative branch? No. Branches are overrated. Plus, I hate having to make decisions, so deciding on laws would be horrible for me. I think working a government job will just kill you slowly on the inside because of all the stress it puts on you. In closing, I'd like to thank you guys for talking throughout the entire video. 
Um, I'd like to thank Zach for helping me storyboard this thing. And uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Ellis for being Mr. Ellis. So I love you guys and I hope you have a great day. I did not have sexual relations with that woman.